Hello, everyone. I'm very glad to introduce our recent work on GCR circuit designer, transferable transistor sizing with graph neural networks and reinforcement learning. My name is Henry Wang, and I'm a PhD student at MIT. Recently, artificial intelligence is witnessing rapid progresses and shows promising results in the ED area because of its two merits. First, the inference of a model is very fast and can be accelerated by GPUs and accelerators. Secondly, the models are very accurate because they are data-driven. With enough data, the performance of AI models can exceed the traditional methods. It also enables continuous learning to make full use of the newly obtained data. AI models are already used in many EDA problems, including physical design and manufacture, circuit design, and system level modeling and optimization. In GCNR circuit designer, we focus on the analog IC design problem because it is highly labor intensive, requiring manual schematic design, transistor sizing, and layout design. To make things worse, the porting of analog IC between technology nodes also requires huge manual efforts and large overhead. To this end, we propose GCNR circuit designer using AI techniques to make analog IC design more efficient. We target at the challenging transistor sizing problem, which has large design space and complex performance trade-offs. We leverage the graph convolutional neural networks to involve topology information into the optimization loop, inspired by the fact that circuit topology is a graph. Transfer learning between technology nodes and different topologies are also explored to reduce the design porting overhead. GCN is short for graph convolutional neural networks. In one GCN layer, each node of the graph aggregates the features from neighboring nodes. The more GCN layers, the larger the receptive field. For example, in layer zero, the red node only has its own features. After GCN layer one, it has information from its neighbors. After GCN layer two, it has information from neighbors of neighbors. In GCN RL framework, we firstly have a target circuit and a simulator as an environment. One optimization iteration contains six steps. In step one, the environment embeds the circuit topology into a graph whose nodes are circuit components and edges are wires. Step two, the environment generates a state vector for each component and sends the graph with state vectors to the reinforcement learning agent. Step three, the R agent processes the graph and state vectors and generates the sizes for each node. The environment refines the sizes to meet circuit design requirements, such as transistor matching. Step five, the simulator simulates the circuit with the generated sizes. In the last step, a reward value is calculated and fed to the RL agent to update policy. After many iterations, we get the sizes with a high form value and also a trained RL agent. Then to perform knowledge transfer, we can inherit the trained RL agent to design circuit in other technology nodes and topologies. We apply the actor critic algorithm as the RL agent. The actor generates the actions. The critic estimates the reward of the actions and guides the actor to generate actions with high rewards. For the actor and critic, we use GCN as the models. Here we show the architecture for the actor GCN model. The actor takes a graph and states on each node as the inputs. Then in the first GCN layer, we modify the input features with the same weight matrix for each node and get hidden features. And then we accumulate hidden features of a node with its neighbors to get its aggregated features. This process is performed simultaneously on all nodes, so we get all aggregated features. Then multiple JSON layers are static together. Each has one FC and one aggregation operation. After several JSON layers, each node can have a large receptive field. After the last JSON layer, we apply a unique FC layer for each node and up to the sizes for the corresponding circuit component. The critic model is similar to the accurate model, but its last layer outputs the estimated form values. Our GCNR framework enables knowledge transfer since the knowledge of how to perform transistor sizing is stored in the ways of the agent. So we can apply the trained agent directly on other technology nodes or topologies. By contrast, Bayesian optimization and evolutionary search cannot support knowledge transfer 
because BO has a fixed output space, EIS keeps good samples in its population without summarizing the knowledge. We evaluate the performance of a GCNRL on four circuits, including a two-stage trans impedance amplifier, a two-stage voltage amplifier, a three-stage trans impedance amplifier, and a low dropout regulator. We use the weighted sum of several normalized performance metrics, such as bandwidth, power, and gain, as a figure of merits and compare our performance with multiple baseline algorithms, including human expert design, random search, evolutionary search, Bayesian optimization, MACE, which is a multi-objective BO, and also with NGRL, which is reinforced learning without GCN. The experiments show that GCNRL consistently achieves the highest form values with small variance. Here are the learning curves on two-stage voltage amplifier and LDO regulator. GCNRL is in the red curves. The results show that besides high form value, the GCNRL also has the fastest convergence speed. Here we show the knowledge transfer between technology nodes on three-stage trans impedance amplifier. The agent is trained on 180 nanometers and transferred to 130 nanometers and 250 nanometers. GCRL in red curve can achieve much higher form values after only 200 steps. We also experiment on trans learning between two-stage and three-stage trans impedance amplifiers. The red curve is transferred with graph information, blue curve is transferred without graph information, and yellow curve is no transfer. We can see that transfer learning with graph information achieves the highest form values. Transfer without graph information is very close to no transfer, showing that graph information is critical to transfer learning between topologies. To sum up, GCNR circuit designer leverages AI techniques in the EDA problem transistor sizing and gets better performance with less human labor. It consistently achieves highest form values and enables transfer learning between different technology nodes and topologies. For more information, please visit our website at gcnrl.mit.edu. Thank you very much for listening and welcome to my online Q&A session on Friday, July 24th, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific time.